be unified as one body of Christ. Since there will be only one church left that believers can join. The Catholic Church. No longer will we be a house divided because of Protestantism. I want you to let everyone that belongs to one of the 33,000 Protestant demonations know that they are really following Satan by being a Protestant and therefore will not escape the wrath of God if they refuse to join us at this time. Because as a follower of Satan, they must be destroyed. This war will continue until every Protestant has either fully surrendered and submitted to the higher authority of the Catholic Church or has been cast into the lake of fire because they refuse to obey the divine will of God that we be one. Do not let your prior understanding of religion or loyalty to a false Protestant church prevent you from experiencing the saving grace offered through his chosen church because I am not at liberty to make any exceptions to this rule you either become a Catholic or you go to hell I hope you're wise enough to make the right decision. Those that do the right thing by becoming a Catholic will be allowed to join us in New Jerusalem and experience that which God has prepared for those who love Him. This, of course, is if they meet the other criteria necessary to be part of it. Ones that I've already mentioned, such as loving God, loving neighbor, and obeying the commandments. Accepting me as their Lord, Savior, and King, and helping me take over the world and build the kingdom of God. And finally, agreeing to separate from the ungodly peoples, governments, economies, and man-made religions of the world when the command to separate is formally given. If you decide to accept our offer to join us, let me be the first to welcome you to our family and kingdom. You have made the right decision. You are now numbered among the righteous and are part of a community of believers that have devoted their lives to serving and worshiping God Almighty and establishing His kingdom on this earth. A kingdom that will stand forever and never be destroyed. One that will break to pieces all the other kingdoms in the world and put them to an end. As part of our plan to accomplish this, there are several things we need to do prior to our separating into our own society. One of the first things that needs to be done is the creation of a new political party called the Theocratic Party. As the name suggests, the Theocratic Party is a religious-based political party that is dedicated to establishing God's kingdom on this earth and turning the world into a theocracy, a world whose government is based upon the power of God. Although I have been quite clear 
and my hatred for democracy because of its continual promotion of ideals that are diabolically opposed to what we as believers in God are supposed to be striving for, which is seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and that I would much rather prefer having priests in charge who have been ordained to lead us. I do believe that a new political party centered around the belief in God is absolutely necessary at this time if we hope to survive as a world in the 21st century. The creation of this new party will once again allow us to be the type of world God intended us to be, which is a world that is in complete submission to Him. A world that can truly claim in God we trust. My fellow believers, this is a golden opportunity to embark on a new beginning for the world and transform it into a place where justice and righteousness rules. My hope is that with this new political party we will be able to subdue the world and turn it into a kingdom wherein our Lord God reigns supreme. Therefore, this should not be looked at as just another political party, but the start of a movement that will eventually create a world that all the holy men before me have strived to establish. Men like Jesus, who God was well pleased with. Men like David, who was a man after God's own heart. Men like Muhammad, who was sent as a guide and a mercy to mankind. These holy prophets of God, peace be upon them, envisioned a world that was in complete submission to its creator. I advocate no less. As a faith-based political party, it is our objective to get everyone on this great planet to adhere to the Ten Commandments and Divine Law. We plan on doing this by promoting justice through a policy of loving your neighbor as yourself. This, of course, will cause sweeping social reforms to take place. Areas such as health care, criminal justice, commerce, and distribution of wealth will require drastic changes in order to conform to this mandated policy. However, once these changes have taken place, the kingdom we're building will be known as the promised land, a paradise here on earth where the blessings of God are showered upon its people. It is only when 